Okay, so on this video I'll be talking about on how to use transfer attributes in Maya. Okay, so transfer attributes is actually really cool and is very useful because it allows you to transfer different types of information from one object to another. And this is uh, especially important when you have uh, a lot of different objects around and they basically have the same mesh. So instead of you doing UVs uh, for each one of them independently, so you actually can just do on one and then just transfer the UVs around to the other objects. So I will show how you can do that. It's very simple. Okay, so here I have my cube and uh, I have already unwrapped this cube. So see here, my UVs are done. So now I want to transfer the UVs that I did here to my other copy but this one doesn't have any UVs done. So let's open transfer attributes. And for that, you will need to go to mesh, look for transfer attributes, press on the box. That will mean that we'll open the options. So I would leave the majority of the settings by default there on the attributes to transfer. I'll normally leave it by default down here. I leave majority also by default and I basically only focus on the sample space. Um, only a few exceptions I will I will use the other ones. So to make it simple let's just focus on the sample space and to transfer uh, UVs I normally choose component. So let's press transfer and as you can see now, both of them have the same UVs. Okay, so now let's do it on an object with the different topology. So in this case, the important thing is that they actually match position. Okay, so first let's select the UV one. And second, we will select the topology one. Okay, so in this case, we're actually going to sele select the sample world. And the way that it works is just analyzing the world space that is on it. So anything that is on that same world space will be transferred. So basically, you can move vertices around. So the quality on that vertice will be different. But then you can fix it later on, but we still be transferred. So let's just press apply and as you can see everything was transferred. Okay, so now about if you want to transfer shading information. So actually the process will be a little bit different, but I will explain you how. It's very simple as well. So instead of going to transfer attributes, we're going to go to transfer shading sets. Okay, so as same as before, you want to select first the one with the shading information and second, the one you want to transfer the information. And basically leave everything by default and just press apply. And as you can see, now the cube has the same shading information. Also remember that this only works in the world space. So again, everything needs to be in the same position. Okay, so pretty much was just that. Hope you like it. See you next time. Bye.